Hey guys, so today I've got my top five uh, healthy scalp or dry scalp products. Uh, and later on this week, I'm going to do my favorite K-Beauty products of the year. So anyway, so today I thought I would talk a little bit about healthy scalp. My scalp has always been dry, just like my skin and everything else. And it's really hard to find good products for your scalp because so many of them contain peppermint oil or alcohol or fragrance. Usually if I see them and they're alcohol free and fragrance free, somewhere they have peppermint oil in there, which I think gives people like a tingling feeling on their scalp, but peppermint oil can be very dry, which is why I try to avoid it in lip balms. It just can backfire and end up leaving your, your uh, skin feeling drier. So my first favorite scalp product is the Ameliorate. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Transforming Scalp Serum. It has no fragrance. Uh, it's something that I'll apply a few times a week on my dry scalp, like an hour before I'm going to take a shower. I'll apply it in a couple spots uh, and then I'll kind of massage it in a little bit. Then I'll do my errands or whatever and then hop in the shower, rinse it out. But I really like this one. I think I picked up from Cult Beauty and it's also rather affordable. So this one's kind of a pre-shower product, which is really nice to help hydrate your scalp. Um, another one of those is the newer Drunk Elephant product, their scalp serum, which is also used similarly. Uh, so it's got a little bit of slight exfoliation in there, but it's also fragrance free and no alcohol in there. And you apply it just like that. You'd apply it to a couple of parts, massage it in, run around for an hour. It's almost like a scalp mask, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. And uh, then when you hop in the shower, you rinse it out and your scalp feels nice and soothed. So this one's also a good one. A little bit pricey and a little bit of this one does not go a long way, but it's certainly one worth checking out if that's a major issue for you because I know it's horrible when your scalp is dry or itchy or just unhealthy in general. Uh, it can be a really irritating thing. So I think I finally got it licked though. Uh, and for a shampoo, once you're in the shower, Nioxin has their scalp product. Oh, however, they do have peppermint oil in them. So I, I find it to be hit or miss. Sometimes I'll use it and it works fine, especially if I use it with a good serum afterwards. And then sometimes if you don't use it with any other scalp products, it can be a bit too much. So this one's one of those ones where they've got peppermint in there, which uh, is probably why it kind of works, but it works better with other products. Um, okay, another great shampoo for your scalp, the Christoph Robin, uh, what is it, sea salt scrub? If you haven't tried this yet, I highly recommend checking it out. I just love this one. It's really great. It feels really nice on your scalp and it leaves your hair feeling nice and soft as well. But this one has a nice exfoliating. I highly recommend if you haven't tried it to give it a try. If sometimes Sephora has it in their sets, that's usually where I've got these smaller ones from because the other jar is gigantic. But I love it. Well worth trying if you haven't yet. Okay, and then once you get out of the shower, and you need something good. This is, I think, in my opinion, one of the key times to really treat your scalp. The Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for Hair Density is really a great hydrating for your scalp. So right out of the shower, apply this. I just apply a couple droppers. I'll apply my part and then I'll apply a little bit in strips on my sides and then just kind of let it uh, soothe over, soak over my entire scalp. But I really like this one as well. Um, I haven't noticed or unnoticed the hair density factor in it, but I really think it's helpful for your scalp. Then we've got one more, the Living Proof Dry Scalp Restore Serum. I guess they call it a treatment. Uh, this one is fragrance-free and alcohol-free, which is a surprise, actually. But actually, no, it has a little bit of fragrance, sorry. But I don't really notice the fragrance in this one at all. Uh, but this one you'd apply kind of like the other scalp products except for the fact that you don't rinse it off. So you really want to apply just a small amount. Ike, do you have a dry scalp? Maybe Ike needs a dry scalp treatment. Anyway, so this one's decent, worth checking out. It has a little bit of fragrance, but not nothing totally overwhelming. And then as just like a rescue treatment, the Scalpacin is okay. It has a lot of alcohol in there. So only if your scalp is really, really in rough shape would you want to apply this. Uh, because it does contain a lot of alcohol, but it'll instantly help your scalp feel so soothed, which is nice. 
but I wouldn't recommend using it on a regular basis, just kind of as a rescue occasionally if your scalp has had too much. So anyway, one other thing that I toy with, I kind of like it because it feels hydrating, but it has some fragrant oils in there. Um, but it does feel instantly soothing, but some of the fragrance in there is not the best. So this one says do not do not rinse, but this I'll just use it very occasionally, and I will rinse it out because of some of the fragrance. So anyway, my top pick out of all of those has to be these two. These are my favorites. So certainly worth checking out if you have dry scalp issues. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you have any favorites that I didn't mention here and why you like them. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you, and stay tuned for more. I've got some verses and top ten lists, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, guys.